Hi, I'm Teresa Ford, and I'm going to talk to you about how to create a comic page in Adobe Photoshop. This video is going to cover the initial document setup. I chose to use Amazon to publish, and I have picked a 6x9 document. And we look over here on Amazon's web page, and we see here's the 6x9 down here. And because it's a comic page, we're going to go with a full bleed. So we're going to set up to 6.125 6 inches by 9.25 inches. And if we look above this, you'll see when a book is printed, all pages are trimmed to the selected size, cutting from the top, bottom, and outside edges. What that looks like is this. All right. So your right side page, which are your odd numbered pages, you're going to have this gray area, which is your, your 0.125 bleed area. And you're going to have a margin, which you are going to define, and you're going to have an inside gutter, which you are going to define. The inside gutter means when you open the book up, what isn't really readable, and so you want to leave some extra space there. And then you have your basic math, you do some subtraction, and you come up with some calculation pieces for how big the active content area is, what the half, the quarter, and the third are. You do not necessarily need to know that because you can use the guides in Photoshop, which I'll go over in just a second. If you're feeling like doing the math, you can always dump it into a spreadsheet and calculate it out. For the right pane, you start on the left, and this would be where you would drop your guide location to mark those places within the document. So let's go over and create a new Photoshop document. Here we are in Photoshop. I have my Amazon Full Bleed 6x9 defined, but you can define your own. You're, you punch in your width, your height, and I used 600 pixels per inch rather than 300 because that let me get the precise 6.125. Otherwise, it was giving me 6.127, which is not precise. And we want, to, we want to be as precise as we can get. We'll go ahead and create that. We'll see we get a nice pretty blank document. And we can come up and we can create our bleed area define. So view, guides, new guide layout. And my top margin, yeah, why not? I'll make my left margin this, because we'll, we'll play with the right edge. Let's see, 0.125. The top actually should be 0.125, 0.125. And the left is, is our gutter area. So we're not, we don't have anything that's getting trimmed off, so there is no bleed area for that. And it does not matter what we pick for the numbers of columns and rows because we're only going to mark off our bleed area. Go ahead and create a new layer. And with the guides showing, Photoshop will automatically snap to the location for you. So you can get it perfectly precise. We'll go ahead and fill that. Bink. And we'll come over here and we'll grab the guide over here. And it is nice that it automatically fills in. I'm using some hotkeys because hotkeys rock. W for the wand key or the marquee tool. We would use the M key. Let's use the M key for the marquee tool. Come up here. The G tool for the bucket for the G tool. Bloop. Control D. And that gives us our bleed area. And the bleed area means that when they when they print it, they might cut off up to that much of the space to make the printer fit because the paper is going to slide a little bit as it's getting cut. Now we can drop it down on an opacity a little bit and say, there we go, now we have our bleed area. Now if you're really feeling super frosty, that's how you, how you would set that up. You could also mark off your margin, your gutter on the other side so you know where not to put your text. We'll go ahead and drop in some of that. Let's see, what if we make that 26? We'll go make this one 26 too, so it matches, why not? All right, <clears throat> and that gives us our gutter. And that makes our space 
in the middle where we're going to be working with and we'll be able to put our artwork in there and lay it out. You're still going to want to cover the whole artwork but you don't want to put text over in these gray areas because it's going to become too hard to read. All right. If you're feeling really frosty, you can come over and you can actually drop in the full spec. You can build yourself a full spec so you have a nice way to look at it while you're working with your document, which you can then drop the opacity on to see what you've got hiding underneath it for working with it. So if I had something underneath it, do do do, using my awesome artistic skills here. All right. We can see how that would lay out on the page very easily and very quickly. So that's how you're going to set up your Photoshop document using your guides to get the bleed area set up right, to get the gutter area set up right. And you do want to start with your specification for what you are actually pl planning to design for. If you're using a standard comic, there's actual measurements for that, but you're going to want to look at where you're publishing it and how much bleed area you're going to need and have that when you start because you do want you not want to be changing your pages that are already complete and done to fit some new grand file dimension where they want, oh, we just want a little bit more on the top and suddenly your whole page layout doesn't look really good.